Today we're going to look at Feynman's trick for solving integrals. Essentially, we want to have a simpler integrand to integrate, because take this integral from 0 to 1 of x squared minus 1 over ln x dx. Now, substitution by parts, partial fractions, those regular techniques don't work, unfortunately. But what Feynman trick all is all about is parameterizing integrals so let's call let's have an integral from 0 to 1 with x to the t minus 1 over ln x dx and let's call this i of t but our target integral is i of 2 because of our x squared now the magic is we take the partial derivative with respect to our parameter here, which is t. i prime of t is equal to 0 to 1. The partial derivative of t, the partial derivative can go inside the integrand because it's independent of x. Because t is not x. And t is not a function of x or vice versa. It's but then if we would differentiate this, so we're taking the partial derivative of the integrand here, and this goes to zero because this is constant, and then we take the, this is an exponential function in terms of t, so you have x to the t ln x, that cancels out with the ln x. So we're left with, namely, x to the t. d dx, not dt, dx. We're still integrating with respect to x. And this is just a normal uh, po polynomial. So this is just x to the t plus 1 over t plus 1. Evaluate it from 0 to 1. Now, it, at 0, it goes to 0. But at 1, it just it goes to... 1 over 1 plus t. Okay, almost there. But this is i prime of t only. We are looking for i of t. So how do we do it? We integrate it. Because the integral from 1 plus, 1 plus t over 1 from 1 dt. And this is equal to the ln of 1 t plus 1 plus c. Okay, what's our c? Um, just, if we plugged in uh, t equal to 0, there'd be 1 minus 1 and that goes to 0. So, i of 0 is 0. 0. So therefore, if we plug in 0 here, ln of 1 plus c is equal to 0, and that's just true c is equal to 0 then, by, as ln 1 and 0. Hence, i of t is equal to ln of t plus 1. But we're looking for i of 2, which implies ln 3 is equal to the integral from 1 x squared minus 1 over ln x dx. Now that's that's fine and struck. Uh, let me do another example. Now we got the integral from 0 to infinity of sine of x dx. I can't integrate this right, right now. Well, I can, but we need to add a little bit on. So I'm going to add an exponential, like e to the ne negative ax, you'll see why in just a second. But see, we've got a Infinity and a negative and exponential, that goes to zero. And also, if we use the chain rule here, with respect to a, that cancels out as x. So, let's take the partial derivative of both sides. And we'll need to make sure that our target integral is this. Which is, I should say, this is uh, i, uh, let's do j, because we already use i. This is j prime of a. 
So we want j of 0, because this exponential will cease to exist, and it'll just be collapsed to 1, and leaving us with sine x over x. Hence, we got our integral from 0 to infinity of negative x over x e to the ax sine x dx. Well, these cancel out. And this is a standard integration by parts. Uh, question, which this that's not the point of the video, but I'll tell you with that it goes to negative a squared plus one. However, we need a, this is only this is j prime of a. So once again, j, j of a is equal to the integral from negative 1 a squared plus 1 dA, which is equal to negative arctan of a plus c. Okay, well, if we let... See what I was talking about and put it, letting it this go to infinity? This collapses to zero, so j of infinity, well, we take the limit as if a approaches infinity, a approaches infinity, this will equal zero, right? So this here, as it this approaches infinity, this will approach pi on two, so negative pi on two plus c is equal to zero, and c is equal to pi on two. Okay. Now, if we let, well, but our target integral is j of zero. So negative octan of zero is zero. So plus pi on two is pi on two. Which means the, which is, means the integral from zero to infinity of sine of x dx is equal to pi on two. But, if you notice that pi, this, int, this integrand here is an even function, as is, if you consider sine of negative x and sine of x, this, by the property of, of sine, you can say instead of this, it's this, it is cancelled out. So, if, so we're just left with sine x over x. So therefore, actually, the integral from negative infinity, the infinity of sine of x dx is equal to pi, as it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's an even function. So this is twice this integral. That's pretty cool. And I've got one more integral for you. Okay, so we've got our k of b is equal to the integral from 0 to pi on 2 of x over tangent x dx. Now, what, where is our b? What are we going to do? What are we going to do? Do we let, put a b inside the argument of tangent? Well, I don't like that tangent. I don't want to integrate cotangent either, because that will produce ln of sine x. Although, that is a relatively famous integral. That's not the point of this video. I'm here to do Feynman's trick. I'm not here to do other cool integrals. So, what I'm actually going to do, um, I'm going to use arctan of tan of x, and we're going to have a parameter b inside this arctan. So if we use the chain rule, these cancel out. Okay, so let's uh, take the partial derivative, and as follows, k prime of b is equal to the integral from 0 to pi on 2, well, the arctangent is... Uh, b tan x plus, plus 1 times the derivative tangent x over tangent x, and that's just the 1. But when I still like to see tangent in my integrals, I always like to see secant as well. So let's multiply by secant. And, but I feel like instead I like to use 1 plus tangent x as well as this is 
by the Pyth Pythagorean identity. So this will all cancel out to 1. So I've just multiplied by 1. Everything's okay. Now, let's do a substitution. Let u equal 10x. Uh, du is equal to secant squared x dx. Which is, is exactly this. So that we get the integral from 0 to infinity. Because as uh, 10 of 0 is 0, but 10 of pi on 2... Uh, approaches infinity, I should say it's from the left hand side, this is 10 minus, because going from 0 to pi 2. Hence we got our 1 over bu squared plus 1 times 1 over 1 plus u squared du. Now we need, we need to do a bit of partial fraction decomposition, but I'll save you the steps. And this is purely and exactly, it's namely this integral here with our various co coefficients. And now, if we integrate them, this will give us the result. So, what I'm going to do is take a factor of 1 minus b squared at the front, and we can... And 1 plus u squared minus b squared on 1 plus bu squared du and this is nothing but when we this is pi on 2 here from this infinity so we'll just get I'll get that ready pi on 2 minus okay if we let this go to infinity this is an arc tangent arc tangent would be and this is a minus b octan of infinity. infinity. We'll make sure, well from our original thing here. We have b is one. So in order for this to actually work, we need to make sure that b is greater than or equal to zero. Otherwise, we'd have a, a negative here. So this will go, so I can replace this with pi on 2, and then the rest collapse to 0 because of uh, octane of 0 is 0. So and then if we go around, rearrange this, flip this around, we get pi on 2 of 1 minus b over 1 minus b squared and I am running out of room so I'll write this at the next spot. Alright so we can now we've got some space I can factor this out so this is a 1 minus b and 1 plus b and this cancels and this cancels so we're left with pi on 2 times 1 over 1 plus b. Okay and now we need it Integrate this, which we got an L, which will be pi on two times ln of one plus b. And notice that if we have our uh, k of z k of zero, oh, I forgot plus b. Don't forget it. We'll see uh, k of zero. We will get uh, our integrand to collapse to zero. So this means. I of zero, uh, k of zero is zero. So, and if we plug in zero here, this will mean zero is equal to zero plus c. So c is zero. So therefore, k of b, well, k of b is pi on two ln one plus b. But we're looking for k of one. So therefore. The integral from 0 to pi on 2 of x over tangent x dx is equal to pi on 2 ln 2. And that is the answer. And that is three examples with Feynman's trick. I hope you find something new. And that's a good place to stop. Thank you.